<laughs> with that said, uh, welcome friends, fiends, and familiars. This is Matt Orozco from Macabre Daily here, and I am so excited to have a chance to speak with two stars of the upcoming release from IFC Films, Arcadian, which you can absolutely go see in theaters this Friday on April 12th. We are joined with Maxwell Jenkins, who plays the role of Thomas, and Jada Martell, who's in the role of Joseph. How are you both doing today? Pretty good. Yeah, how are you? Living the dream. Happy to be here talking with you both. Well, um, I know we don't have uh, heaps of time together, so I'll just dive right into some questions. Um, first one being, you know, when it comes to approaching the roles of Joseph and Thomas, you know, Joseph obviously being a bit more calculating and reserved, and Thomas being a bit more kind of charismatic and outgoing. And um, how much of that is similar to yourselves as kind of individuals outside of work? And how much of that did you just bring to the role as far as what the character needed? Uh, I think Thomas has a lot of similarities in terms of his reliance on his physicality. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a very physical person. I grew up in a theatrical circus. Um, I'm on the UCLA cheer team on the base. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff, um, with that. And, and, and additionally, I'm really reliant on my physicality when finding a character. So it was kind of a best case scenario that, that so much of who Thomas was, was this very physical person who used his physicality to get to know his world. But um, <clears throat> I think that, uh, I think I'm a little bit more calculated than than Thomas is in real life. Um, very much think things through way too much. Can't make a decision, actually. <laughs> like, Thomas is really great at making decisions. He does it. Like what he feels, he does. I'm not that way. It, it takes me down to the last minute. That, that's why I need a deadline for everything. But <laughs> I hear um, you. But yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm a lot more of a logical thinker to a fault than, than Thomas is, I think. Mm -hmm. I, I, for my character too, like you said, very calculated, very logical. I think I'm the same way. Um, I'm also, it also can sometimes translate into uh, judgment. I, I, like Joseph is constantly questioning his decision-making, saying whose interests do you have in mind? And I can be that way too. Um, <clears throat> I, this kid's also a genius and can build things in, with his bare hands, like traps and cars. And I cannot do that. <laughs> <laughs> you can. <laughs> maybe, maybe if I put my mind to it, but I doubt it. I'm, I'm a, I'm a city boy who relies on on society. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know how I well, I, I definitely wouldn't do as well as you two in a similar situation in the film presents. I'd easily be one of the first ones gone, that's for sure. But um, mm -hmm. I was curious more like, you know, do either of you have siblings? And if you do, how did that shape or, for, uh, or inform the performance you brought to the role? Yeah, I got a, I got a younger sister. Um, but I don't think that our relationship is too um, dissimilar. Uh, to to Thomas and Josephs, I I I do think um, that it helped out a lot um, having a having a younger sibling. Mo most people think that my younger sister is my twin. A lot of the time, um, especially at we went to the same high school. I'm in college now, but um, most people thought we were just the same age twins. And uh, yeah, there there is a there is a bond. You know, no matter how. It was a nice reminder, a real world reminder that um, no matter how far apart you two are, no matter the distance that separates you, your your difference in ideology on um, um, issues or, or, or when things arise, even though they differ, everything is done with care for one another. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that definitely um, helped color um, you know, my relationship with Joseph. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, what about you, Jaden? Do you have siblings? Um, yeah, I, I have all, they're all much younger. Um, I think that the easiest comparison for me were, is, is to my my best friends, who are basically like my brothers have been in my life for uh, half my life now. But I just, um, <clears throat> my relationship with them, the ups and downs, the differences, um, sometimes you become so close past like past caring and, and like you kind of reach each other's cores and that can be pretty volatile but like 
everything is always done with love and you learn how to communicate those things and work together. That, that, that was very relatable for me. And then also having Max and being so close to him throughout the filming process and beyond was like so helpful. So, so helpful. Yeah, I had a question about chemistry, but I, to be honest, it's one of the like, kind of base questions I always ask. But as I was watching the film, I'm like, I don't know if I really need to ask that because it feels like you all just kind of got along um, from the jump. And, and, I, and I, you can see that through the performances. Um, you know, as far as the prep work you did, was there any that you did for these roles in particular as far as getting more into the survivalist um, kind of realm? And is there anything you researched or looked into to help yourselves prepare to get more into character? I definitely started running again. Um, <laughs> that was a big one. Uh, yeah, I was on my school's cross country team for a long time. That's pretty good. Not to brag, but um, <laughs> tumble. But yeah. I I stopped running, um, and then kind of got back into running mm -hmm. for this. Not just to be in shape, but but also, um, I, I think it was a great way into running. Is just kind of free thing. Um, and that's Thomas's whole thing is he, he, it's, 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 it's kind of a quest for freedom, whether it's selfish or not, it, it's a quest for freedom, um, and to grow up. So I did start running again. Um, but I also think, uh, for me, I always make playlists and music for, for my characters. Um, well, cool. you know, this one and every, every one of them is different. Um, and this one that had its own unique playlist, uh, a lot of folk music, um, which is, happens to be like my favorite genre of music. So <laughs> you just made a playlist. I just, I just made a playlist. <laughs> and then called it Thomas. So that's it. We need the Maxwell <laughs> Jenkins role playlist at some point on Spotify. Yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Actually, I got, them I got one of them pressed into a vinyl record. Wow. That's a awesome. Cast, for a cast gift. Oh, that's sick. That was cool. That's really cool. That's cool. All 80s music. Nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, yeah, for uh, a lot of the pre-production for us was uh, choreographing fights, yeah. um, uh, a lot of driving that that, that little car that just okay. created, a lot of driving that, whipping around, mm -hmm. um, and getting close to each other, understanding the world that we're in, um, like with a limit on it in terms of what. Ben wanted us to know exactly. Um, it was just more about understanding um, what we know, what we didn't know. We don't necessarily know how these monsters work, so that's not our information to understand. But know that, like speaking of music, that you know, asking those questions: Can we listen to music? Have we ever heard music? Uh, 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 of um, you know, do we do? what do we know about culture what what do we absorb in books and whatnot and um so just understanding those things of what's missing in this world that ben created yeah that makes sense i mean those are important questions i think that you know help you shape the character but also can show up in your performance and i know that we're at our time today so i just want to say a heartfelt thank you to you both for the for speaking with us and just a reminder, everyone watching this, please go see Arcadian in the theaters on thir on April 12th. Um, it's an absolute blast. Our review's coming soon. Good luck with the rest of the press tour, gentlemen, and nice meeting you both. Thank, Thank you, man. You. Bye. Bye.